Hello, hello, it's Old Twit Talks Cars. I hope you're keeping well. As promised in the video regarding the Renault Twingo GT and the AX Citroen AX GT, I promised to have a little look at the market context for you and see what's around. So this is what this video is all about. So hopefully you'll find it of interest. Um, so the video is this one that we referred to where we tested the Twingo GT. I'm giving myself some wriggle room on where it's going to end up, but up there somewhere. Um, and uh, I thought if you're interested in that car and what I was talking about there, we'll have a look and see what's on the market in the UK um, regarding those cars. So without further ado, let me ping over to eBay cars, which is where you'll find a lot of these Twingo GTs. Probably the most will be on here because it's the type of car um, and the type of value which lends itself really to eBay. So there's quite a few here. You can see um, these are all, I think, Twingo GTs, this one, let's have a look at this one. Um, it's a 2008, which is the same year as our car. Mileage is less for about 60, but it's not a massive difference. And quite rightly, they're going ideal first car. So uh, let's have a little look at this. Um, so yeah, nice little thing. Um, that hasn't got the pan roof so that's the same as ours our previous red one did you might remember let's click into these might be a bit easier to to see so yeah that looks tidy the only thing i would say that i'm noticing here almost immediately uh is it all looks tidy in there tidy enough uh what i say here is these are meant to have a GT emblem in there. Um, so that's sounding a slight alarm bell because that suggests that this car has been repainted. Um, the other thing that may be wrong here is that they should be contrasting um, to the to the body colour, the back of the uh, the back of the wing mirrors. But anyway, um, that aside looks tidy enough but it's those sort of things that you want to notice i guess when you're having a look at these cars let's see what it says about it 12 month mot ddd 2008 renault swinger gt two former keepers ideal first car first registered da -da 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 -da. cam belt and water pump replaced that is helpful to have um needing doing by about sixty thousand anyway drives without fault um, service history, six stamps in the book, two keys, all the stuff. So the only thing for that one is I would just check whether that's had any frontal damage and ask why it hasn't got the GT emblems on there. So that one's two and a half grand now. That clearly is a uh, trader's car. So I'd say that's that's plenty of money. Um, now, if we go back, what I also like to do on eBay, which is a nice little feature of eBay, is go down here, scroll down and look at the sold listings. So that's all very well asking that money for it, but these are the ones that have actually sold. So um, you can see those values are, are, are a little bit uh, lower, I'd say considerably lower. Now this is one I saw earlier, which I thought was um, good value. And I'll show you what I mean about those GT emblems on this one. So this car actually sold. Um, so there you go, there's your GT emblem. Now that should be present on um, the other car that we just looked at. And again, you'll see contrasting wing mirror colour. So um, that's something just to ask questions about on the other one. Uh, but this car, yeah, so this sold uh, 22nd of March, the very start of June now, so a few months ago, um, three bids sold for just over a grand. Now I would say if you're looking for your first car and you want something a bit sporty, that's great value. There's a little ding on the rear quarter. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Um, that might need a bit of work. You could probably do something yourself, but you'd be better off getting two or three hundred quid's worth of work done there. And I would suspect that's why um, it's gone for just over a grand because that 
to me is 1500 quid's worth of car. It's a nice colour. Um, so yeah, that gives you an idea of what's around for, for those cars. So I'd say if you had £2,000, you'd expect to get a really decent, low mileage, um, well serviced, well looked after car. No trouble at all. We did also talk on, touch on in that video, the Twingo 1.6 Renault Sport, the RS. Um, so that's a bit more uh, powerful. So that one's got 133 brake horsepower from 1.6 litre. Um, it's got pumped up wheel arch extensions, as you can see on this one here quite nicely. Um, that's different to the uh, Twingo. It's got slightly different seats, although not a lot different. Apart from that, it's really a new engine um, that's that's different on those and as you can see these do go for a bit more of a premium this is auto trader so sadly i can't see what things have actually sold for but you'll see we're up in the two and a half brands here um they tend to be i don't know why they tend to be a bit more mileage as well so this one's 84 82 um ignore that one that's an outlier 88 70 000, no, 93 so Maybe they're just better suited to doing a few more miles, but um, they may be worth a look if you like the look of them. They had bigger alloys and they're nice um, alloys here. So these are the standard old alloys. As you can see, they have the um, flared wheel arches. Uh, inside, they're a bit different. The seats, I think, are a bit more bolstered and they certainly are embroidered with the Renault Sport logo. Uh, apart from that, internally they're exactly the same uh, as the car that we were running in our video so again maybe worth a look what's what's nice about auto trader if you're not familiar with it is you've got some enhancements here um, this is quite good it tells you uh, where that price sits compared to the market average across all its uh, listings and it gives you a nice little infographic for the hard of reading there's a little summary here um, tells you how many miles above average that's done and a summary of um, the details as a description. In the specification there's a couple of nice things so you've got performance section so you can see the performance stats here which I always look at it's quite fun um, and then also on running costs quite interesting a bit more boring but you've got the annual road tax uh, insurance group and a bit about um, fuel economy. You can also get an insurance quote here. Uh, you can get a price for your car and you can look at finance examples as well. So it's quite well specified. The thing it lacks, however, is what cars actually sell for. Because although that's the sticker price, um, I wouldn't expect you to be paying that. So that's that one. Um, nearly the other one was the AX GT that sprung out of that video that we are watching. So let's have a look at what I've managed to find there. Um, we've got a grand choice of one car. So I alluded in the video to the fact that the AX GT is getting very rare. And this is a case in point because there's only one um, that I can find that's actually for sale. I'll show you one that nearly sold but didn't in a minute. Um, but this car, it's just under five grand, so I think that's about what I paid for mine when it was about a year old. So they've done pretty well. They've really um, come on. So let's click these pictures. Um, now there's a few things to, of note here. This is a five-door car, which I don't think is a sweet spot. Mine was a three-door. I'll show you another three-door. These just don't look as good, I, in my view. So there's that. Uh, this I can only assume, mine was black, this I can only assume is standard with the red, it's your stickly um, plastic bumper covers in red which look a bit um, unusual in my, to my eye. Uh, so quite a straight looking car mind you, however what leaps out at me is these tyres. Um, the, the listing proudly talks about four new tyres very recently but what it doesn't say is four new tyres off a lorry. Uh, the profile of these is all wrong I think and also they look too wide because they're very bulbous here so it looks like you've got rubber rings um, tied to the bottom of your car but it does give you some off-road uh, ground clearance because it must add about three inches to the ground clearance of this um, so 
yeah, that needs changing. Uh, GT5, I think, just refers to the fact that it's a five door. Uh, more practical, but again, let me show you a nice three door in a minute and you'll see the difference. So it looks, or it looks a bit like a BX, doesn't it? At a glance, because of its five door, those tires, I can't, it's like a, it's like roadkill. I can't take my eyes off them. I always like to see what's in the background here. That big old American truck there. Um, that looks a bit non-standard. I'd be a bit suspect about that. It might might just be an exhaust chip rather than a than a system. Looks quite nice and clean under there. It's got some boy racery air filtery bits in there, but it looks all right. Looks clean. Um, looks like someone's gone under there and given it a clean, which is a good sign. Um, inside. Uh, looks all right. Well, I can't work out with this. I can't imagine it was different for the five doors, but in a minute, when we look at the next one, I'll show you one of the things I love most about the interior of my AXG, AXGT, and this car hasn't got them. But anyway, without spoiling the uh, surprise, um, I'll come back to you on that one. But look, this, this is something you need to be aware of. These seats you know you need to watch for holes because there's nothing much you can do about those they look a bit weird and baggy i don't know if they've been recovered um because these covers you can probably buy and whether they've been refitted but here this thing didn't um keep popping up you'd see that that's ripped there as well now they're really very hard to do anything about so you just need to be aware of that and that looks like a fag burn or something someone's chucked a cigarette out the window and it's flown back in just missed his, uh, missed the driver's genitals and landed on the uh, on the seat. So anyway, that's that one. Um, quick look at the details. Just under a hundred thousand miles, which I suppose is what you'd expect for this age of car. It's a ninety-one car, um, eighty-five brake, thirteen sixty. It's had front brake discs, pads, rear shoes and adjusters, cylinder brake pipes, all your brakes should be good, two new drive shafts, four new tyres, all in the last 6,000 miles, blimey, yeah. Um, you certainly have, haven't you? So that's that one, but I do want to show you this, because this is a beauty. Now, this is on CCA Classic Car Auctions. I'm not quite sure when this auction was meant to run. Oh, Classic Car Sub. This was June 2018, so this was a while ago, but look at this little beauty. So this is a uh, 29,000 mile car. This is a three door. This is why I wanted to show you this. This is a proper, proper little car, and this is what these um, should look like. So this, is pretty much museum quality because they score these. I don't know how you, if you know how these work, but they score these. Um, and this little car has got 133 out of 135. And basically, with the exception of two or three things which make up those points, in fact, only two. The chrome on the exterior, well, if you look at it, it's hardly any chrome. You've got the wheels and you've got some chrome around there. But apart from that, that's all the chrome. Um, and the other one was the engine, the appearance of the engine, which I do agree with them on, um, which we'll have a look in a second, but let's have a quick look at, uh, draw at these. Um, so there you go, there's a three door one. Uh, that is the proper profile of tyre and the proper width of tyre on there. So you can see that looks a lot more sensible. Um, but that's a beautiful little car. Can't believe that didn't sell. You can see it's got new tyres, it's still got the sticker on there. What I do like to look at in these is what's in the background. You've got a Boxster there, M3, can't quite tell what that is. But it's nice to have a poke about. Look, there's a, yeah, whatever. There's a Tolbert Sunbeam or something. But look at that lovely little profile. You've got your rear spoiler, there your standard alloy. I mean, everything about this car is, is perfectly standard, which um, begs some questions on the one we just looked at. That's what your exhaust should look like. Um, so again, that red one we just looked at has been fiddled about with their uh, spare tire under there. Always check that's there, they're very easy to steal. Um, so they're often missing. Um, got another Beamer there, looks like a Ferrari there. You've got a Merc under plastic there. I love poking about in people's barns. Now this is it, this is my favourite feature. Tiny slim um, door pockets here. 
But here, look, you've got a springy thing that you can put a big bottle of wine in the French case behind there. In my case, a big two litre bottle of iron brew. Um, but they were great. And again, that red one, the five door one didn't have those. So I don't know if that's had different door cards, but I'd be amazed if they um, weren't standard across the whole um, range. But again, you can see it's the same upholstery as the previous car, but this one is absolutely mint. I mean, that's factory fresh. Look at it, beautiful. So there you go, that didn't sell. I wonder what the reserve was. I suspect it was quite high. Um, yeah, there's the appearance of the engine. I mean, it's not bad, but it could be tidied up a little bit, I would suggest. So that's probably why it got slightly marked down there. But what a great little car. Anyway, I hope that's been of interest. Um, my plan is with uh, my videos where we're talking about cars of this nature is to try and put up a separate video that gives you some market context in case you're interested of what's about, uh, what prices are doing, what prices are likely to do, etc, etc. So if this is up your street, I'd love you to subscribe. Um, I'd love you to ping the notifications bell so that I can um, pester you, warn you that stuff's coming up. Um, I'd love you to comment send questions, share. Um, I clearly wouldn't love it if you gave me a bit of a kicking, but then, you know, hey, you've got to expect it, haven't you, on YouTube. So just some interaction I'd love. So take care, see you soon, and there'll be more of these in the works very soon.